Hey guys, Rabo here. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how I set up my African Cichlid Aquarium. Uh, I haven't had a tank for a really long time. Uh, it's just something that I thought that I'd get into again. So I'm just going to take you through the processes and the steps that I took to get my aquarium going. And hopefully it'll turn out really cool. So let's get started. Okay guys, I thought I'd show you the tank. Uh, it's an Aquion 36 gallon bow front that I picked up on sale at my local PetSmart. Uh, I think the tank looks great. Uh, it's going to be a good addition to the room. Uh, earlier today I went and took a razor blade and just cleaned up the excess silicone that was on the glass and I rinsed it out really good. Uh, used paper towel and water and just wiped it all out. So tonight I'm going to be installing uh, this top fin background that I also picked up as well as I have this egg crate material um, it's just plastic that I'm going to use to line the bottom of the tank um, I'm going to be using a lot of rock in the tank and putting this down will hopefully help distribute the weight as well as if a couple of the rocks happen to fall when I'm moving things around or um, anything like that uh, they won't smash the bottom of the tank so I'm going to cut that up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay guys just a quick shot of the tank uh, I got the background installed and I got the egg crate cut out it's looking pretty good so hopefully tomorrow I can pick up the sand and the rest of the rock and get started on that part Okay guys, really wanted to show you this. Um, ran into a little snag with the aquarium. Uh, ended up having to shim the stand. I have an old house and the floors are actually out quite a bit. So I went down to my local hardware store, got some nice wide shims, and uh, ended up having to shim uh, all along the back, uh, the side, and the front as you can see here. So it turned out really well. Uh, I got everything perfectly level and the stand actually feels a lot more sturdy than it did uh, when it was just sitting on the carpet so uh, that's it that's ready to go uh, my next step is just to put the aquarium on top and get started on the rocks and the sand all right guys here's another look at the tank i have all the rock put in and the water's just starting to clear up now so i thought i'd give you a, a little look Uh, one thing I didn't mention was I decided to change the background. I went with a straight black background instead. Uh, I think it looks a little bit better. Um, the other one, I, I really liked it, but it looked a little bit busy with all the rock in there and everything. So I think that's just kind of going to give it the look that I'm going for. Um, so anyway, yeah, to be continued. Well, the tank's all ready to go, so I went to the pet store today and picked up my first three fish. I'm just letting them soak, uh, get, get used to the temperature, and uh, I'm going to release them soon. So I'll show you what I picked up today. I picked up a red zebra. An electric yellow lab. And over here, uh, Kenya. Okay, so I guess you could say this is the big reveal. Uh, everything's done, the fish are in. Uh, they've been swimming around for about five hours now and uh, they seem to be doing great. They're very active, um, exploring the whole tank and exploring all the rocks and uh, going through all the little tunnels and everything all through uh, the rock structure. So they've been uh, looking like they're having some fun doing that. Uh, I just fed them not too long ago, so there's still some food floating around. So I guess my next update will be probably in a week or two. Uh, hopefully everything goes well with these guys and uh, you know I'll be adding some more fish then. So uh, stay tuned for that.
All right, guys, I'm back with you. Just wanted to tell you what's been going on with the tank. Uh, the fish have been in the tank for seven days now, and the ammonia levels are just starting to go up. So I um, guess that's good. It means the tank's uh, starting to cycle. Um, I did a, about a 35% water change yesterday when I noticed that uh, the levels were starting to go up and I did another 10% today um, so the fish seem to be doing pretty good uh, so far alright guys uh, this is what I wanted to show you um, I actually went out and bought a canister filter uh, it's an Eheim 2213 uh, I have that and I still have uh, I have that running with the AquaClear 50 that I had before so um, I was actually out, uh, I finally got talking to a guy who was kind of a cichlid expert at uh, uh, one of the fish stores that I've been going to and um, anyway I was out looking for more filtration anyway because I kind of figured I needed more and uh, ended up picking that up but uh, one thing that was kind of interesting that he had told me was uh, he suggested uh, really stuffing the tank and overstocking it and he said put 15 cichlids in there and uh, with the extra filtration uh, it should be good and hopefully that'll help a little bit with the aggression and uh, anyway I guess this is kinda turning into a, a little bit of an experiment and that's quite a ways down the road but uh, we'll see how it goes and um, I'm definitely gonna keep you updated as I go here and uh, Hopefully it'll turn out good. Well, it's day 27. Uh, here with the 36 gallon aquarium. Uh, things are going pretty good. I just gave these guys a little bit of dinner, so they're busy munching away here. Um, like I said, things are going pretty good. Fish are, are pretty healthy in that. Um, my nitrite levels are uh, on the rise right now so I've been just doing some small water changes uh, trying to keep the fish healthy and everything so uh, they seem to be doing really well um, my red zebra he's kind of the the tank boss I guess you could say and uh, he's really given uh, my electric uh, yellow lab quite a hard time and uh, he chases him around quite a bit and kind of keeps him confined to the bottom left uh, corner of the tank here so um, I'm really hoping that you know when the tank cycles and I I can add some more fish uh, kind of give that guy a bit of a break and uh, kind of um, even out the aggression a little bit here so uh, but other than that uh, no problems uh, nothing major or anything like that so just kind of got to be patient with everything so um, so that's where we're at right now and hopefully I'll have another update for you real soon well I'm back with uh, another update for the tank um, let's see I've had the tank up for three months now and uh, everything's going pretty well um, the fish are starting to grow um, they seem pretty happy and healthy and all that good stuff so uh, today I finally got around uh, to getting out and getting a couple more fish for the tank so actually uh, I got three um, so these guys are just getting used to the water and I'm gonna release them here soon I'll come back with another video uh, when they're swimming around alright guys I'm back with you here with another shot of the aquarium uh, so I ended up getting uh, three new cichlids. Uh, they've been in the tank about two weeks now and uh, so they're doing really good. Everybody's eating and growing. Uh, really fun to watch. It was, it was cool because when I released them it was pretty chaotic in the tank for about the first three hours and uh, it was pretty, pretty neat just to watch how they all interacted with each other and kind of figured things out. So now they're all getting along really well and uh, it's cool because my red zebra there, as you can see, uh, he's still the tank boss and nobody messes with him. Um, I have a yellowtail ACI uh, up there. 
Uh, he's the biggest fish in the tank. He's probably second or third, I guess, in command. And I also picked up this uh, really cool looking uh, blue cichlid. I'm not sure exactly if he's a cobalt um, or what he is, uh, but he's really cool color, really neat light blue. And uh, he was kind of beat up a little bit when I got him. I actually got him for half price. Uh, he was really thin and kind of beat up. And uh, anyway, he's doing really well. Um, fattened him up a little bit. So, uh, you know, he, he's looking a lot better than he was. And I also picked up, uh, let's see if I can find him here. Um, there he is there. Uh, he's kind of like a, a purpley, uh, purpley color with a little bit of, blue around his gills and uh, he's just a really cool cichlid. When he colors up you can see he has um, some really dark stripes on him. Uh, it looks pretty cool when he colors up and uh, he's getting along really well with everybody and fitting right in. Uh, he's a little bit lower on the totem pole but everybody seems to be uh, pretty settled in now so uh, they're, I just fed them not too long ago so they're, they're kind of looking for some more food I guess while I'm up close to the tank here but uh, anyway just wanted to show you that and just wanted to show you the tank because I actually went out today and I I picked up found a guy on online who was selling some lava rocks so, um, can't wait to throw the lava rock in here and see what it looks like um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do I have a couple great big pieces of lava rock and I'm gonna kinda cut them up and uh, take out the limestone and add those to the tank I think and kind of try and build it a little bit higher because you can see with the limestone I don't really have too much height in the tank uh, so I think I'm gonna try something different and uh, I'll probably be back with another video and I'll show you what that looks like so alright stay tuned alright I'm back and just wanted to show you the new setup on the tank um, I really like it it looks uh, way better than it did before, I think. Um, picked up a bunch of lava rock, like I said, and got the aquascape going. So this is what it's looking like. And today, actually, I went and went down to Kitchener and checked out Big Owls down there with a buddy of mine. And uh, picked up a couple new fish. So I'm actually just going to uh, get them acclimated here and going to release them here in a little bit. So... Um, I'll come back with another video and show you what those guys look like. Okay guys, uh, this is going to be my last video. I just wanted to show you the final layout of the tank. Um, I only have five fish in here right now. I'm actually planning on getting a bigger tank, so I ended up giving some of those other fish away. And these are the five that I'm keeping to transfer over to the new tank. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.